and then Model Y. Um, I'm really excited about Model Y. It, it's, you know, there's been some criticism like we should sort of do it derived from the Model 3 platform, but I think actually we made a mistake in trying to derive the Model X from the Model S platform. Um, it would have been better to just design, design an SUV the way an SUV should be designed, design a sedan the way a sedan should be de designed. Otherwise, you're just trying to shoehorn something in that, that doesn't make sense. Um, also, there are a number of, I think, really major manufacturing improvements that can be done um, that allow us to build a car in, in a way that a car has never been built before. Um, it, the, the, the capital expenditures, I think, would be substantially less. I'm, I'm confident that we could drop the CapEx by a factor of two between Model 3 and Model Y, which I think is a, is a really big deal, and accelerate uh, its readiness despite the new technologies. Um, so we're aiming for that, uh, you know, to, to hit the roads in, in, in 2019 approximately. Um, and probably the demand for the Model Y will exceed the, the demand for the Model 3.